Dinner examples are through which everyone learns new technologies. They are key in creating interest and understanding in that technology in a simple yet effective way so that everyone who tries that example gets hooked up to that technology and wants to learn more about it. Just like the Hello World program in almost all the computer languages and the Blinkeredy program in Arduino, the robot operating system has a tool made for teaching ROS and ROS related packages. It is called the TurtleSim. Today, we are going to build the very first version of GuineaBot which utilizes the TurtleSim tool for its Wi Fi tele operation. Hi everyone, I am Pavish and let's build the Guinea Turtle. Teleoperation indicates the operation of a system or a machine at a distance. In simpler words, it's remote control. Here in the Guinea Turtle, the remote is the keyboard and the control communication is done over the Wi-Fi. Since this is the first version of the Guinea Bot, all you need is to follow the software setup for Guinea Bot explained in the introduction video. If you haven't, just click on the link given, follow the steps and come back here.
Before we close off the build, we need to calibrate the motor wiring. Place the robot with its wheels above the ground and connect the Arduino Uno to the computer using its USB cable. If it's a virtual machine, go to Devices, USB and select the USB port where the Arduino is connected. Open the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, select the Arduino Uno board and set the port to where the Uno is connected. Then go to File, Examples, GuineaBot, open the motor calibration sketch and upload it. After uploading the sketch, open the serial monitor. You will be prompted with a series of questions, follow the instructions to calibrate the motor. After the calibration is complete, go to File, Examples, GuineaBot, Guinea Turtle, open the Guinea Turtle Uno sketch and upload it. Step 4. Disconnect the Uno and connect the Node MCU to computer. If it's a virtual machine, go to Devices, USB and select the USB port where it's connected. Open the Arduino IDE. Then go to File, Examples, Guinea Bot, Guinea Turtle and open the Guinea Turtle NMCU sketch. In the sketch, first you need to replace the SSID and password with your own Wi-Fi credentials. To replace the host IP, you need to find the LAN IP of your Linux machine. For that, open a new terminal, type this command and enter. This will print out the LAN IP of your Linux machine. Replace the host IP in the Arduino sketch with this IP, go to Tools, select the Node MCU 1.0 board and set the port to where it is connected and upload the sketch. Then disconnect the Node MCU. The final step to this build is to close the chassis stop and mount the batteries. As you could see, we have used our expandable series battery circuit to connect these batteries as this circuit can help us vary the number of cells in the series as required. After the battery mount, our guinea turtle is complete. Now let's play with our robot. Switch on the robot and place it on our test floor. First, we need to launch the turtle sim node and its teleop control. For that, open a new terminal, source the setup file, the guinea board workspace directory and run the ROS launch command. Now you could see the turtle sim node. Next, we need to launch a guinea turtle node. For that, again open another new terminal, go to the guinea board workspace directory, source the setup file and run this ROS launch command. On this terminal, you could see that the node is trying to establish a connection with our robot on this port and it has succeeded. To control our robot, just select the terminal where we ran the ROS launch file for turtle sim and press the arrows to move the turtle and the robot. Let's see how it works. The first launch file we run starts the turtle sim node and its teleop control. These two nodes are connected over a topic named command well, in which the turtle teleop key is the publisher and the turtle sim node is the subscriber. The turtle teleop node monitors which arrow key we are pressing and publishes the direction in which the turtle should move or turn 
and the turtle sim node receives this command and acts accordingly. But after every keystroke command, the turtle moves for a certain distance and stops. This is where our guinea to turtle node comes in. It monitors the command will topic for direction commands and it also monitors the change in pose for the turtle in the turtle sim node. With this information, the guinea to turtle node creates an integer array of control values that is needed by the Arduino Uno to control the motor driver and thereby controlling its motors. But how does the robot listen to these nodes over Wi-Fi? The trick is done with the help of raw serial Python package and raw serial Arduino library. When we run the second launch file, it not only started the guinea to turtle node, but it also started a raw serial Python node that creates a TCP port over Wi-Fi and listens for any remote ROS connection requests. The node MCU was programmed to connect to the exact TCP port in your Linux machine and it announces itself as a ROS node subscribing to the guinea bot's motor topic. Now whenever you press an arrow key in the terminal of the first launch file, the guinea to turtle node senses the direction to move and generates the motor control values. These values are sent over to the node MCU over its ROS serial connection as an array, which is forwarded to the Arduino Uno using I2C protocol, where the values are applied to the pins that are connected to the motor driver. Thus, the robot moves. I encourage you to make your own physical versions of GuineaBot and share it with us in the comments, so that I can showcase them next time. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. Consider liking this video, subscribe to this channel and make sure to click the bell icon to stay tuned for the upcoming versions of GuineaBot. See you again next time with another version of GuineaBot. This is Pavish signing off. Thanks for watching.